I remember being a kid, my teachers told me I wouldn't be shit Diamonds in my pinky look like water, make me seasick Never had no house, so don't approach me on some free shit Oh! 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 I gotta hold down the city. 2K17 really just came out. It's about one month after. And I wasn't really too much feeling YouTube, bro. I wasn't taking it serious. I wasn't actually grinding, which I wish I can go back in time and actually grind up for it. But I wasn't. So this was the video that made me realize I wanted to do YouTube. This is the video that hit 1,000 plus views. This is my first ever 1K plus view video. So I had to take YouTube serious and I started getting in my bag and getting on the grind. start to get lit on the channel and the clout demon was unlocked bro so one day hank the tank came in my live stream we quit we were cool he added me and after a while he appeared online and it was ggs i had to pull up on him at comp stage man 25k now i didn't really know too much about being a guy that as sharp i'm not gonna lie but this was the day the best sharp in 2k17 yes i'm the best sharp made his mark man <laughs> Like if you can dribble and you still need screens, there's no purpose of you being able to dribble. Right, so I just told him, cut and give me the ball. And at that moment, he messed up. I shot the ball and it went in. Now, when I shot it, I was scared, bro. I was like, oh, I just so. But it hit and we beat Hank for 25,000. That's just 22. I was at my peak around this time, man. I was about to hit Superstar 3, SS3, unlock the mascot. I was getting so much views, my channel was blowing up. And I had to do something, man. I had to make a montage so you can all remember the greatness, the road, the journey to Superstar 3. Mascot, but like that, that's gonna be probably the highest rep I go to, I don't know. I just, I wanna hit, SS3 is all I really care about. That's like the main thing. I A part of my side, like where in my circle, was lit, bro. I'm telling you, nobody was taking over. I was going crazy, and then one day, Dr. 2K made this tweet on Twitter and said, "Who wants to play Mountain Dew?" And you know, the best sharp, the best slasher. I had to take that opportunity, man. I ran up Mountain Dew with Dr. 2K. First try, I lagged out. Second Mountain Dew tourney, we took the dub. I'm with the gang, 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 gang. 
She ain't leaving out the road. She ain't leaving out the road. One thing that she did though. She ain't leaving out the road. 10, they pushed Dr. 2K to number 11, and they pushed Effective Gaming to number 12. Now, after it was over, they automatically lagged me and Dr. 2K, I mean, and Effective Gaming out the park, because the time's up, so how can you still play? But they let Dr. 2K play another game, and when he played that other game, I guess he was on a 750 court, so it boosted him up to number 8. So, Dr. 2K won, and I won. You remember this. This is kind of where it took a sad end, but I was still on my Cloud Demon stuff, man. I was going crazy as far as YouTube. One name we all should remember is YRN DJ. Yes, man. I've been talking stuff to YRN DJ. He's been talking back because when I won Mountain Dew Tourney, it was a lot of commotion going on for people boosting. And YRN DJ was number one for boosting. Now, me personally, now I don't care at all. I don't even know why I did this, but the Cloud Demon was in me. I had to let it out. Garmy, Garmy, Garmy. Stop that bitch off. This one I'm but I don't got the time. Fuck a two times and I cut that bitch off. I just spit it back on my dad, but he'll do whatever I say like I'm sad. Garmy, 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 man. Alright, fuck, that's cool. Yeah, pass that motherfucker. Pass that motherfucker, man. Pass that motherfucker. Hey, folks, pass that bitch, folks. Simple. Simple, pass that bitch. Simple, pass that bitch. I never heard them call you that. And this time, I was getting higher and higher in my YouTube career. Views were beautiful, man. So I started to meet bigger and bigger YouTubers by the day. And I'm starting meeting a lot of YouTubers, whether they were big or whether they were grinding just like me. And one day, um, Davis hit me up. He said, do you want to do like Mountain Dew Wars vid? And I was like, yeah, man, of course, man. Come on now, I'll rock to Davis, man. Funny man, corny ass some, sometimes, but hey, I rock with him. So we picked up some of the most golden Mountain Dew winners, man. Of course, we couldn't pick up all of them. Other people had other things to do. But what we did was a Mountain Dew Wars vid, kind of like his famous Mascot Wars or Jetpack Wars vid. And I'm telling you, it was lit. But y'all don't want to hear me talking. Just see the clip. views man my most viewed video on my channel and I didn't honestly know that it was gonna get this many views man over 2,000 likes a lot of comments big youtubers in the comment section and all I did was miss a green all the way to past 12 and I like alright why not get it back you see I'm wide open green but I miss we're gonna replay that for you look at that green how wide open 16 to 16 and I was talking my prime man i was getting to the top and i was gonna finally hit that 10k now when i was gonna hit the 10k the montage and my reaction was fire man it was lit so for those of you that missed that out or didn't see the vid i thought i'd show y'all that again and i'm telling you this was probably one of the most heartfelt moments ever that i faced 
going into this YouTube career and one of the best moments in my 2K history. Boy, I start on the bottom, huh? Made my way to the top. What? Boy, I'm gonna keep winning. I am. No, I cannot stop. I can't. Remember, I had a little. I did. Turned that shit to a lot. I did. Always been 100. I was. Put that on my block. Oh, yeah. Used to want that full door. Huh? Now I want that drop. Yeah. I was at his low. It was just about dead at this time, man. And we all know when LaMelo Ball started playing 2K, man. Alright, so GoPro, if those of you that don't know him, he was the legend. I think he's top rep um, now of 17. I don't know. I'm not sure. But he was a legend and he was top rep at the time. He sold his account or gave his account to LaMelo Ball. And well, he was already on my friends list. So I took the opportunity and I had to pull up on a ball, brother. And you know how it went out. Get in there. 2K18, and I don't have that many videos that I want to put in a video like this and make it a part of my evolution. Now, I do have a nice amount of views or videos that got a nice amount of views, but I wouldn't actually want to put it in a video like this. Alright, so basically, the one video that I do got, it wasn't that many views on it, but it's when I got to play with NBA rookie for the Trailblazers, Wade Ball. Who y'all think y'all fooling? Not me. Y'all niggas really ain't airing enough. This bus down, trying to scare us or something. Your shit weak, trying to bear us or something. What I made last week, like a million or something. Rich Max is bitch and my kids or something. In the